It made my nerves cry. Oh, it's dead end. Okay, so. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. This way. So the game won't even let me open the meat. All right, y'all, so uh, we're going to be playing this game that I came across on Steam called At Dead of Night. And when I say, like, this game is, like, really something else, like, like unlike anything I've ever played. So um, this is a point-and-click game. Yeah, you primarily move by clicking, like, different places on the screen, and it'll move you there. The arrows are going to tell you, like, what direction you're going to go. While you do have control over like where you're going, it kind of feels like you don't have as much control as you would like to have, man. Maybe that's really what's bugging me as far as like trying to play through it. Yeah, last time I was playing through it, man, I got trapped in the hallway in the dead end, of course, two two doors on the side of me, and I can't go in either one of them. Uh, and of course, Jimmy is down the hallway, and after I tried to unlock the doors, yeah, he just, he was right there. And that was the end of me playing the game for the night. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to make it through this game. So just so y'all get caught up, let's watch this pro. Okay, so this is where it all starts right here. Man, I don't even know like what would make a person want to stay somewhere like this. Like, it just looks old fashioned. Like, I definitely nah. Ain't no way. So they go Maya. Walking down the Hello? road. Hey, Hannah, where are you? You all went off and left me behind. That just where looks like a now? place a What's person don't number? have no business walking. I don't know. Himself. I'll have to call when I get there. Well, it doesn't matter. Just go to bed, Hannah. Well, listen, make sure you're. So this this whole game, like the people and the scenes are all in like FMV, so full motion video for those who don't know what that is. But it just it it just gives this perception that it's like just like a real like cinematic like game. Ha, ah, Maya, I presume. Uh, oh, don't be alarmed. Uh, your friends booked you in. The graphics are honestly uh, like. Like amazing. Ah, yes. Uh, room 101. It's all been paid for, so you don't have to worry about anything. You are very nice friends. Very nice. And there's uh, quite a few of you I see as it's well. Very weird. Nice to see so many fresh, young faces. Like that right there alone, it, it should British. tell you, like, you uh, you're here there. for the music festival in town, I presume. Yeah, we were supposed to be camping there tonight, but... <laughs> There's hardly weather for that, is there? <laughs> uh, will you be staying for breakfast? I don't think so. We'll probably just get going. That's fine. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, Maya, would you be interested in uh, the entertainment tonight? Tonight? Oh dear. Uh, starts around midnight, usually. Midnight? It's, it's me doing it, actually. Comedy. I do this comedy character yeah, called uh, Hugo Hunt. Hunt. He's sort Funny of this comedic sociopath, <laughs> says things Maybe that you're not supposed to say, and that sort of thing. It's quite popular with students. Bald head. I don't think so. What We're is that, like Jerry Carroll juice sure I can't on the back of his neck? Just your arm on this. It's okay, I'd rather just go to bed. Sorry. Fine, fine, fine. fine. 
Which way are the rooms? Some kind of scars um, or something. Just take the lift. Uh, you're on the first floor. Okay, thanks. Oh, and, and then drop your key off in the box, uh, if you will, Maya, please, tomorrow. Best show in town and no takers. It must mean it's proper not the best entertainment show in town. YouTube and my face or whatever. Stupid, uncultured. YouTube and my face. Don't start this again. I don't want to hear it, okay? Not tonight! Children of the bad eggs, they need to be taught a lesson. Don't do it, Jimmy. See, I don't know if this is like an indication that he has like good intentions. But shut up! Whatever. Just shut up! Bipolar. You always do this, they're paying you customers. On. Just takes they haven't over. done anything to you. Either way it goes. Just leave them alone. Need some help. Bad eggs need cracking. Whack them hard and crack the shell. Kick them down the stairs to hell. You know what you need to do, Jimmy. Yeah, Show maybe that's the problem, right, man. We could, we could do it. That's the way to do it. <laughs> if I look like that, I would be mad too. Right, so it's a stormy night. Why would you even go back to that door? Like, I'd be... I'd be ghost. Oh, she had that elevator. All right. What did she even go to her room? Instead of her leaving, she about to investigate those paranormal activities. And it goes to tell you Jimmy's secrets. All right. Jimmy must hide the truth at all costs. I'm gonna start a new game. I'm gonna just run through it real quick. Like, cause this part right here, since I'm only 7% in, it shouldn't take me too long to get back to where I was at in my gameplay, so. Um, just to get everybody up to speed, because I kind of lost like the footage I originally had in playing the game. So, um, so the spirit detector, the take the spirits, and all of that, yada yada, boom. All right, so, so first off, I'm gonna go to the first floor, see what I can find. So the thing about the first four is like, and I didn't know this when I originally played through it, is the best thing to do is to, to actually like access all of the rooms. Because 
If you do that before you encounter the first ghost in the game, then Jimmy is pretty much inactive. So I'm going to just speed through this real quick and find all the stuff that I can find. Let me see. This place is dope. This is like confusing. Like You could get lost in this game. So basically, we just go into all of the rooms and um, searching the drawers. Doors can be unlocked with the right key. All right, there goes the mirror. It by the door in the room or in the ground floor kitchen. Oh, okay. The ground floor kitchen. I was wondering why I couldn't use that in the ground floor because I know I've used it on the ground floor before. Also, help you locate lost keys, compasses, and the ghost box. All right. So let's try that right now. I don't, I don't know if we'll be able to really see that much, but. Or it's saying we need to find the compass in room 102. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to 102. I probably should. Oh, I didn't mean to go in there. Probably should do these rooms in numerical order anyway, so I keep up with which ones I went into. So we got 101 through 115 on this side, and 116 through 123 on the other side. All right, so one on one is the room that we were originally staying in. So it's just Maya stuff in here. Whoa, hold on. Okay, so I guess the items are different this time. Why? Right. Because that's not always been in there, I don't think. Trophies and awards. Okay. All right, next. 102. All right. Old cloth, but uh, what did they say? <laughs> I don't know. Old cloth with blood on it. Got the compass point toward the spear. Oh. The, you know the blood stain cloth. All right. I didn't mean to do that. Compass will point you toward nearby spears. All right, so nothing in here. Deadlock key to room 104. So I just know, like, so I'm looking through the thing. I don't need to come down this way at all because it's a dead end. I think the last room was 105. Yep, yeah, because we already been in 106. It should be, yeah, there's 107. Nothing in there. That must be one of the friends. Yo, I've never seen that before. All right, old ornamental sword. So this is another dead end. All right, 
right, so it looks like one of the friends, and it's in it's room 111. All right, so now we're ready to go to 112, which I believe is this way up. deadline for 112 and if, if this game if there was like some kind of map like that would be a lifesaver I don't know if I need to just make my own map on a piece of paper or what alright room 119 child's purse So I guess um, since the room's going in a circle, then I should be coming up on 118. Yep. It's dark. Which way do I go to get to? 117. Cause I don't want to lose track of which rooms I've gone in. Sixteen old suitcases. And one twenty one. Okay, so there goes another friend. I don't know who that is though. There's four one. So does that mean like I could just unlock this the stairway? All right, chef's hat. Bottles of whiskey. All right. I'm finna go to floor 102. Or right, floor two. Let's see if there's anything we could do up here. So too dark ahead. All right. Check four three. So I guess since I go window open somewhere up here. Stay anywhere that has 
wallpaper like this because this is all I'm gonna think about is like this game. Got copper wire. Got another key. Is that really all there is to this floor? Cause like, if there is, I don't ever want to come up here. Like, there's no way you could go to like run away. That window is like loud, so shit sure just makes it hard to hear. Found some broken wall mirrors. Okay, so this is just a like a death trap up here. So let's check let's check around the ground floor before we go down to the um to the basement. Oh and I need to try that key that that key to the stairs. Here in the kitchen. But you have to be facing this way. All right, so we're going to the lower ground floor now. Let's see. Alright, to the lower ground floor we go. Definitely down here. That's the door to the stairwell. Trying to see what games those are. WrestleMania. Okay, so this is the boiler room. All right, so. She stopped crying. Um, I guess I don't even know why I'm putting it. I don't feel like I've, I haven't done this part because I actually have. So <laughs> let me stop playing it around. I'm just trying to catch y'all up to where I'm at. A loud noise means there's a spirit in a high energy state near. Definitely here. Is anyone there? Yeah. Is anyone there? And the compass is just bugging out. Is someone there? See what the mirror says about this. Doesn't the option to use the mirror doesn't even come up anywhere down here. Alright, so ground floor. 
You know, so I didn't go front that did scare me the first time. But I didn't want to spoil it for y'all. <clears throat> so just to clarify, I'm I'm only seven percent into the game, so I think I ran into like between that time, two different jump scares, two or three, so. All right, so now we finna, uh, came back down to the ground floor. We finna try to talk there? to the little girl in the basement. Hello? And hello there. What's your name? Ask the spirits about things that you've seen. You'll see their reply when selecting the item. Okay, so... How did those mirrors get broken? I don't know. Doesn't know how the mirrors got broken. I saw a girl in the basement crying. Who was she? Okay, so the only logical thing to steal from a little girl is that's teen is a child's child purse. purse belong to? It was mine. It was for my birthday, but it was stolen. All right, so so when, when you pair these things, I guess she, so she mentioned a boy, Jimmy. Uh. Jimmy locked her in the basement and started stealing from her. So then, all right, so match two replies, you think connect to work out the spirit story. So, pair the sighting replies with item replies for faster progress. When you said Jimmy stole things from you, is that connected with what you said about the purse? Teddy bear. We gotta go to the ground floor. Is she still Is here? There? So now she just won't respond at all. All right. Definitely the game room. That's why Jimmy mad because this stuff too loud. Oh, that's loud, man. I had to. Oh. Alright. That, that little noise that they make when, like, Something like that happens. It just gives you, like gives me like a nervous feeling. Like, so let's see. Uh, it's spinning around, which means that there's. Well, I mean, I just seen a ghost, so it's obviously a ghost nearby. Is it Amy? Yeah, I'm Amy. All right. I saw you shouting to Jimmy to give your toy back. Why did he take it? Because he thought it was funny. He gave it back, but then ruined it anyway. Find the toy on fire. What you said about Jimmy stealing your toy, does that have something to do with what you said about the turpentine and lighter? So 
There we go. We lit a teddy bear on fire. And now we're going to the first floor. So we're going up to the first floor. So we haven't seen Jimmy yet at all. Now the compass is saying go this way. I know that's a dead end down there, so I don't want to go that way. Oh, lights flicker. Okay, room 109. All right. Okay, uh, all right, so So I guess he's like holding on to the bear when it's on fire or something. Because it's sword. So what now? Who is that dude? Number four two. Obviously in here, so let's see if she can tell us something. Yes, I'm Amy. Okay, so I saw you holding a toy on fire, Amy. What happened? So, what's the mirror say about that? All they're saying is go to the second floor. Oh, now it's saying. Okay, so where was that at? Because I, I know I saw that, but I don't remember exactly where. That's not that's not on floor two. The, the, um, all right, let's go ahead and go out. girl crying. So is this, do I go straight or, yeah.
Whoa. Oh, hold on. I'm telling you, Jimmy, you can't do that. Your heart. Okay, so please don't. Let me see if I got a key to this door. Um, that whole turning around and then all of a sudden, oh, Jimmy's in the hall. Dang. I got a key to this door? All right, let's see if we can talk to Amy. Is it Amy? She was just in here. Let's see what... Oh, what's going on, man? Huh? Okay, so the sword, like, what about it? I can't. Oh, there she go. Why you didn't answer me the first time, girl? All right. Uh, so you scared outside the room. Is it Amy? Of course it's Amy. Yeah, it's me. I saw you outside the room. Something right, frightened you. What was it? What was it? I saw you outside a room. Something frightened you. What was it? I was trying to find a doctor. What Jim threatened me and made me stay. Okay, so I'm trying to find a doctor. So they keep saying something about this sword. So... I hope he didn't cut this girl's arm off. When you said you needed off. a doctor, but Jimmy threatened you to stay. Does that have anything to do with what you said about the sword? Don't tell me you fell for that. So he tells you. Is anyone there? He told you that he can make your hand start hurting with a sword. And you believe that. Oh, yeah. Sound like Jimmy's coming. Man, come on, man. Just... Just don't come in this room. I can't tell, like, if he's close by or what. I'm here. Let's, let's just do this to try to see where he is. Oh. This way. All 
Alrighty. Now I can hear him. Okay, so. See, I wouldn't even have time to, like, leave out of here. So, you know what? <laughs> what? What are we at right now? 11% complete. I think that's a good... <laughs> I think that's a good stop report for the night. So, if I end the game, right? Let's go in these closet. All right. Mm. Okay, so where do I need to go? So we had our first encounter with Jimmy. I just, I need to know exactly where I need to go, so. One twelve. So we gotta make it to room one twelve, and I have no idea how to get there from where I'm at right now. Cause this is a dead. This is a dead end. I believe. Like that's the only explanation for him walking down there and then coming right back. Cause this gotta be a dead end. I don't like this at all, man. Whew. One twelve. Hey. All right, so it doesn't sound like he's close by. Just follow this compass. Oh, hold on. Go in the room. All right. This one I got. I know I got a key for this one. Okay, so lock the door. Boom, door lock. Is he in here? Hold on, man. Please don't let this dude be in here. I gotta sit back. <laughs> See, like, something happened with my sound. And... Oh. Oh, he walking nearby. Hold on now, Jimmy. Let's talk about this. Like, <laughs> why is he walking? I've never seen that before. I heard that. What you mean walking nearby? Okay. All right, cool. So he ain't in here. At least I don't think he is. Let me take one of these earphones out. This door is locked, right? Ain't in the 
bad though. Okay, cool. Look through the uh, thing. Oh, here you go. So where is he? So we try and make it a 112, man. Oh, man. Why do I got to do all that to un... Jimmy? All right. At the door. I right, stick through this this uh, thing. Now, I swear, like when I went in that closet, it's like my I, my audio just messed up, and I I thought he was in the room. Okay, so there he is. Why does he stop and do that? Like he just knows I'm there. Oh, he's coming back already? All right, so how about this? We ain't gonna make it to 112 tonight. Um, I don't know. I think I got I got an uneasy feeling, but yeah, this game is just it. Oh. Why is he walking so fast? Now, is he mad about something? But, uh, okay. Man, Jimmy need to chill, man. All right, so, man, yeah, like I was saying, this game, uh, this game definitely makes you feel, like, real tense playing it. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make it to Rule 112 tonight. But y'all let me know what y'all think of this game in, in the comments below. Like, um, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make it through it. But I appreciate any any of y'all checking out this video. Um, man, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you haven't, so y'all could see how this turns out.